Welcome to the 3D Box Shop version 3 quick start tutorial video. In this short video I'm going to show you how to use some of the features of the program and more importantly how to get the best use out of the keyframe animation system. Now after you've installed 3D Box Shop version 3 you'll see the following icon on your desktop. Double click on this to start the program. After a few seconds you should see a loading screen will appear that indicates that 3D Box Shot is starting up, after which the program will fire up and start running. 3D Box Shot will attempt to load a random sequence from its database on startup. So once this is complete you can then select File New uh, which will set the program back to default settings without any sequences loaded. Now one of the things you may notice is that there is some 3D text visible. Uh, this isn't a watermark, this is a part of the feature of the program. It's got a very powerful 3D text engine built into it. Um, so what can you do now? Well from the front screen you can control the box uh, using the mouse keys. If I left click and I can rotate the box around, uh, using the right mouse lets me rotate left and right. Um, so it's not a great deal that you can do uh, from the front screen, so what you need to do is open the keyframe control system, uh, and that's this little icon here, it looks like a hardback book. So if we click on that, the keyframe controls will appear. So let's have a quick look at how the control deck works. It's a tabbed interface, so if you click on any of these tabs along the top, you can switch to various menus that allow you to control different elements within the program. Uh, you've got uh, the controls for the box where you can select the type of packaging that you're going to use. Uh, you can select the text control which gives you uh, control over the 3D text. You can load a background, background picture into the program. Uh, you can adjust the lighting, reflections, shadows, load the side textures. These are the textures that appear on the actual physical box packaging. And then we have a section here called Multibook, which uh, I won't explore in detail at this stage. You can drag the control deck around the screen by left clicking on the bar at the top. Uh, this lets you move it to wherever you'd like, and equally you can resize the main win window by using the grabber control on the side, and the window will dynamically resize. Um, for the purposes of this video, I'm keeping the main window quite small so that we can see both the control deck and the video on the screen. As I'm going to primarily focus on showing you how to use the keyframe system, the first thing I'm going to do is get rid of the 3D text. Nice as it is, you don't always want to use it, so it's very simple to get rid of it. You can either click the on off button to turn the text off, or simply delete the text that's typed in. Once we've got rid of the text, if we go back to the control system. Uh, this gives us uh, the control over the 3D box. So you, you'll see there are a series of radio controls here and if you click on these, these will alter the method that you can use to control the box, both with the mouse, but you can also control these with the slider controls as well. Okay, before you can go about creating an animation in 3D Box Shot, the first thing you need to get to grips with is the timeline. By default, the timeline is 300 frames long. You can easily increase or decrease the length of the timeline by adjusting the timeline spinner control. Simply click the up button on the timeline spinner to increase the number of frames in the timeline. Click and hold to rapidly increase the number. And the same applies if you want to decrease the number. If you click and hold it will rapidly decrease and then single clicks will decrease by a single increment. 300 frames of animation will run for 10 seconds if you render the footage at uh, 720p HD at 30 frames a second. The video frame rate of the video can of course vary depending on the type of video you choose to export. However, we'll look at this in another video tutorial as we're going to focus on using the keyframe animation system. Once you've decided how many frames of animation you want to create, it's time to add your first keyframe. As it's the first keyframe, this has to be added to position 0 on the timeline. All you need to do is set up the box at the start position that you want and then simply click the add keyframe button. While nothing appears to happen, when you do this, the program stores all of the start position information in the keyframe system. Next you need to move the playhead on the timeline to where you'd like the second keyframe to be. In this example, I'm going to drag it to about the midpoint, that's frame 150. Uh, once you've done this, set up the new position of the box 
Uh, 3D Box Shop will automatically calculate the tween frames to seamlessly transition the box between the first keyframe position and the second keyframe position. So what we're going to do now is reposition the box. So we'll zoom in, select rotate and spin the box around. We simply add the, uh, click the add key button and we've now created some keyframe animation. You can now drag the playhead backwards and forwards to review the animation that you've just created. There are no limits on the length of the timeline or the number of keyframes you want to add, so all we're going to do now is finish up this animation by adding a keyframe at position 300. So what we're going to do here is spin the box back, select pan and zoom, and zoom it off into the distance. We simply add add keyframe and we now have a 300 frame animation sequence which we can play back by simply selecting the play button. So there we have it, uh, that's the 3D Box Shot keyframe animation system and uh, we hope you've enjoyed this video.